Thank you for letting me do this talk. Um, Einstein's paper on special relativity is what I'm looking at, and it gives no citations, references, so it can give the impression that it's all coming from Einstein's imagination based on thought experiments. But I'm proposing that there's a tradition of physics which leads up to what, was, what Einstein was thinking about. And so this is uh, Max Born. He's uh, one of the friends of Einstein. And he says, it, it gives you, which is, which is 1905 paper on special relativity, gives you the impression of quite a new venture. But that is, of course, as I have tried to explain, not true. So he admits Einstein is working from an earlier tradition of relativity and so we just need to work out what it was. Um, so people like Galileo talked relativity and between Galileo and Einstein there was quite a lot of work on relativity which now gets overshadowed by Einstein. So I've gone back to the original German of Einstein's paper. And I found, I think, a better translation. This is the usual translation, and I'm going to denote that as OEM. And I found what I consider to be a better translation by this person. Uh, now, as per the June 2019 issue of Physics World, when Einstein was in Oxford, England, he was lecturing in German and not English. He wasn't fluent in English, and because he was speaking German, his audience had difficulty understanding him. And I, th I think Einstein sh should have clarified that translations into English were correct from, from what he was talking about in German. But I don't think he really got involved in too much in that, and he relied on his translators, because he was more involved in lots of politics. And so, taking an example, the OA, OEM translation says this, and then we shall consider a better translation uh, translates it as that. And the difference is, this translation mentions point particle. No, point elder. Yeah, oh, 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 <laughs> So this translation men mentions point particle and this translation doesn't. So. so, if we go back to the original German, uh, that's the German, and, it, 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 and that word and that word, and it probably translates best as point particle, but the, OE, the, original, the usual version admits saying that. So, if you read the rest of the paper, he does mention things like material point. <clears throat> I translate that is still talking about point particles. So what I understand is Einstein's paper on special relativity is dealing with point particles. Now, the theory of point particle goes back to Newton, and it was further developed by Boscovich. So the basics, basis of his paper is the Boscovich Newton point particle theory. So we have a connection of special relativity to earlier tradition. And if you read in the, read in the OEM translation, you're not really picking that up so easily. So a relevant book on Boscovich theory is by my friend Dragoslav Stogovich. I've got a copy of the book here. Uh, <laughs> He's a chemist in Serbia, and according to, according to him, everything is built up from elementary particles, the point particles of Boscovich, and it builds up to the other particles, and the force between particles obeys this sort of thing, this curve. 
And so that's the book there. Whoops, all the done. Something. So, okay, so here's the book. And you can build up things like uh, for the electron in orbit around the nucleus, you have allowed and forbidden orbits. And you get all these other curves as well, which, which ties into uh, quantum physics. And I also have a paper by Augustus Prince, who's worked out the mathematics of Boscovich's theory. Because when Boscovich wrote his theory, the mathematics wasn't available in the day to deal with it. So going back to the translations, in the original uh, trans translation which we're used to, it's saying this. And, and the newer translation is saying something very similar. Uh, and what we should really be doing is reading that in the context of point particles. So in the context of point particles, when you refer to uniform, what we should note as that can also apply to acceleration. So you have uniform equations of motion of Newton. And which of these equations? These are basic Newton equations for point particles. Uh, what might have obscured people realizing that Newton's equations of motion are still valid is the usual translation says uh, two first approximation for that. And in the better translation, there is no footnote. So I need water. <laughs> So the usual translation is adding a footnote, which is not there in the original German. So it's giving a completely false impression of what's being talked about. So the first translation is saying that Newtonian physics is an approximation of special relativity. So NP, Newtonian physics approximately special relativity, while the second translation is saying Newtonian physics is special relativity. So it's quite a big difference. And the correct translation is Newtonian physics is not an approximation of special relativity. Uh, but however, most people think Newtonian physics and special relativity are not the same because they look different on things like time dilation, but what we get to. For the moment I'm pointing out special relativity is with Boscovich and Newtonian physics. So getting to the issue of the maths, the usual translation is this, and the better translation is this. And they're quite similar. No, no, they are they're, they're different translations, sorry. And the difference, one of the differences, he's talking about velocity of light, and this one's taking speed of light. And the trouble is, the German word can translate either to velocity or speed. And I think really the word should be speed. So he's really talking about speed of light, but also the better translation is talking about two-way light speed, while the usual translation seems to be interpreted as one-way light speed. So uh, if you're thinking of the two-way light speed as being constant, then that's bringing it more in line with Newtonian physics. So I think it's a mistake to think it's one-way light speed constant. Uh, for two-way light speed, if you've got light going in one direction as C minus V, and then hitting something rebounding, coming back at C plus V, for V greater than zero, and taking it to obey the usual Newtonian physics, then C minus V is less than C, and C plus V is greater than C. So the one way light speed is variable. 
So when you add these two together and take the average like this, that one way light speed plus that one way light speed, and then divide it by two, you get C. So C is a constant and that's the two way light speed. Thus we still have Newtonian physics. One way light speed is not constant, it's just the two way light speed that's being constant. And when you look at the maths, uh, the better translation seems to be justified in taking it to mean two way light speed. Just that Einstein didn't use that sort of terminology. So now we get to the time dilation equation. <coughs> when, the, when the belief was that Newtonian physics is approximately special relativity, the way that is looked at as when, when V is very small, then that equation approximates to V in Newtonian physics. And that's false, the correct interpretation is that is a Newtonian physics equation. It's not an approximation to Newtonian physics, that is a Newtonian physics equation. So, if you look at uh, Newton, when he writes about things, he does talk about absolute space and absolute time, and he also talks about relative spaces and relative times. So, from the point of view of Newton, time dilation is okay, you're talking about relative time. Uh, and when you go back to Newton, I found there are also, oh, this is, a, this is a mistranslation of Einstein spotted in physics, journal physics in 1963, as an example. And when you go back to Newton, it's been spotted that Newton was also mistranslated. There's mis mistranslations in Newton. Okay. So I think there have been mistranslation problems that obs obscured concepts in physics. And really, there should be a discussion of Boscovich's theory, a theory of point particles with action adjacent by fields and particles not coming into contact. And Boscovich used, used to be taught before the Einstein and the quantum revolutions. So the conclusions are, looking at Einstein's 1905 paper from a context of an existing tradition, working on similar themes, and we can, and we can get a relativity that is quite a bit different to the one that we are usually presented with. Uh, Einstein's innovation was dealing with light as particles in his 1905 paper on the photoelectric effect. And this is really the reintroduction of Newton's idea of light as a particle. And this led to a wave particle duality concept of quantum mechanics later. So Einstein's 1905 paper on the photoelectric effect that photoelectric effect dealt with light as particles and, yeah, and it was not being properly appreciated that his special relativity paper is also dealing with light as particles so the two theory two papers were really unified finished thank you